here at The Home Project. And uh, we've been working with the Dig Deep Collective to uh, respond to The Home Project and respond to it through music, through lyrics, through poetry, through songs. When I first found out about the theme home, I was excited because it's a, a very universal theme. I think it's something that people can connect with, but also is great for writing. You know, it's a very, it invokes memories and invokes, uh, you know, connection to, you know, places, environments. Baba and Yako, they're like really, like incredible dudes, just like crazy talented. And before they rocked up, they set some sort of like tasks for us to do, just kind of like creative prompts that, that people could respond to. So we're going to be exploring the theme of home and uh, creating a piece in a, a concert about home. And I want to give you a couple of writing exercises. So one thing I want you to think about, I want you to think about a song that really makes you feel at home. Yeah, then when we got here, we kind of fleshed out all those ideas and uh, yeah, just sort of put together a show out of it. One of the main highlights of this project just happened a few, a few days ago. We had the Council to Homeless Persons come and visit us. And I think when you, when you think about home, you have to also think about homelessness. And you have to think about what does that mean for people who don't have that place, that, you know, and, and what does home mean to them? So we had a really powerful dialogue. We had members of that Council to Homeless Persons come in, talk with Dig Deep, share their stories. They shared really personal stories, which then allowed Dig Deep to open up and share their stories. And we had a really powerful dialogue. Yeah, the Council of Homeless Persons was a very deep session. So, to be honest with you, it was quite emotional. And um, it was very hard to, you know, sit in that room without, you know, trying to block it out. It was hard to, you know, we had sort of had to take it in and use it. It was really informal, which was really cool because um, I spoke to a couple of them um, and they said how it just felt like we were going in and talking with people that we knew. It was also pretty powerful for the council themselves because they've mentioned that in a lot of these kind of scenarios where they go to interact with young people, they're kind of, they feel sort of like tokens, like they're just there to kind of be the stereotypical homeless person and tell you all like tragic things that have happened to them. Whereas with this, it was kind of, a little bit more um, positive. They were so, um, I'll say generous in sharing their experience because, um, you know, that's not an experience or something everyone goes through. So to have that insight from them directly, I think was definitely a powerful and grounding experience. Based on two or three words from each of, of the six of us, they created 15, 20 minutes of a whole series of individual and then collective performances about those themes, about sanctuary, about privacy, about comfort, um, about the pain of not having a home. I guess if there's a bottom line to this, um, it's to understand that we're, we're no different. Um, we're people, we have hopes and dreams and aspirations, but at, at, at the core of that, and everyone would understand this, at the core of your uh, sense of self and well-being in life is a home. For them to go as deep as a group as they did, you know, on this project and really share personal stories, you've got to be in an environment where you feel trust and we can't create that in a week. Yeah, Dig Deep is pretty much a second home. It's, uh, at first I thought it was, might be just be a good way to keep up with my music. And it turned into pretty much a second family. It's just an incredibly conducive environment to kind of to growing your skill set, you know? Like, everyone who comes in here has kind of made a decision to be here, and they're generally, like, very passionate about what they're doing and very interested in kind of elevating their art form. Dig Deep has been a huge part of my life, even though it's been just for a year, and I've made lifelong friends. House very simple, only made of sticks, leaves, twigs, and branches, vines, the bondage, all of it, with the spiritual hierarchy, women allowed inside of me, the place for the men to be discussing this and then talking about the family and the ways of the community, reviewing all the rules of their places for improvement.